So if you notice with the quotient rule, all of our examples over here are rational numbers. We have some fractions here with exponents. And let's practice by looking at the first one. The top one is written out as 2 to the third power, and it just does 2 times 2 times 2 for the numerator. The denominator is 2 squared, and how many are down here? Just the 2. Notice what happens. We cancel out the ones that are in common. What did that leave us with? One. Just this 1, 2. And so it becomes 2 to the first power. Let's try that with the second example. Our numerator would have how many sevens in it? I mean, how many threes in it? Seven, seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The denominator has how many? I don't see any need to rewrite that. What are we canceling? How many are going to get canceled here? Four and four. And what's that leaving us with? Three to the third power. Why is this no longer a fraction? It really is, but its, numer its numerator is what's left, and the denominator is an invisible one. Okay, how about for the next one? 10 X's. Over four X's. We can only cancel what's in, what they have in common. There's four in the base that we can cancel, and that means we can also cancel four in the numerator. What's really happening here is that this, we'll use this cancel space for this. We're taking 10 minus the four. And what do we end up with? X to the... Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and use this space up here. We probably should have done that. It was a base of three to seven minus four. That's how we got the three to the third without having to draw all of this out. So what's another way, since there's just way too much to write for this next one? Well, I'm gonna take, it is too big to write out. We're gonna take five as the base, and it has 12 minus what? Seven. And then y is the base is going to have 20 minus what? Mm -hmm. So we get 5 to the what power? 5 to the fifth power. And y to the 12th power. What could be the beginning of this one here? <coughs> We know we're going to have to have a numerator and a denominator with the same bases as we see in the answer. So let's put an A and a B and leave space for their exponents. What could be with this one and this one to make this become 7? 10 and 3. So then we would have A to the 10 minus 3. And what could we give the B's to make them come out with a three? Six and three, okay. Okay, um, I want you to take a minute to determine a rule for what happens when you have two exponential expressions dividing each other with the same base, okay? 
So look at what we've been doing up there and see if you can put what we've been doing into words that are a rule. Or you can use an example or you can use an expression.